This is a splendid 1.31 carat GIA certified unheated teal blue sapphire. Hey everyone, David Saad here from skygems.ca. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a beautiful 1.31 carat GIA certified unheated teal blue sapphire from Thailand. Absolutely a stunning piece as it's coming around. Take a look at that. Beautiful angles on it. Lovely, you can see, lovely table, gorgeous crown, as you're able to see before, beautiful angles, both the crown and the pavilion, gorgeous symmetry. And as it's coming around, you can see this is the kind of gem that we use to make fantastic heirloom quality jewelry. And if you are looking to have a piece of jewelry made with this or any of the gems we have, I would love to be the one to do it for you. Please reach out to me, send me some photos of what it is you're looking to make, and I can usually get your quote within one business day. I've now taken this absolutely luminous gem off the turntable, put into a pair of tweezers, and this is so I can show you at home just how gorgeous it is, give you a close-up look, you get to see how clean it is, get a look at the cutting from the back as well. Look at this. As I said, absolutely an incredible piece. It's going to make a beautiful, beautiful heirloom piece of jewelry, a legacy piece, right? This is the kind of thing that's going to be around for generations to come, right? You're going to get your kids, grandkids, great grandkids. Um, I mean, mine are 14 and 16 and, and they're already, you know, kind of dibsing a lot of my jewelry and chains, uh, you know, who, who gets which and what and all that, and which is, you know, I guess kind of sweet and um, they do, you know, just love gems and they love to see the gems that I wear and they, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's great. It's, it, you know, these end up being the pieces that, you know, it gets passed down and then the stories get passed down with it. Right. Then, you know, it goes from you to your, you know, to your kids, or your grandkids. And right. When it's your grandkids, you're going to have, you know, your kids telling your grandkids, I remember when your grandmother, you know, your grandmother used to wear this all the time, or this was from your grandmother's engagement ring. And I remember it from being a little kid. And I mean, you know, you have these memories of your, of your parents' jewelry and your grandparents' jewelry. And uh, what ends up happening is you end up with these physical artifacts of yourself that you get to leave behind. And, um, you know, like I said, they become legacy pieces because these physical artifacts carry stories with them, right? And what stories they're going to carry with them, I have no idea because you still need to make those stories. But that's what's amazing about jewelry, uh, you know, is it's been precious for forever, right? The oldest jewelry is 135,000 years old, which is, you know, 125,000 years older than farming, um, right? So lots. And right, people have worn jewelry and gems. You know, sapphires have been actively mined uh, for at least 30,000 years, right? In Sri Lanka, there's mining that's 35,000 years old or 30,000 years old. And uh, the oldest sapphires found, you know, used in some kind of adornment, I think is about 50,000 years. So right, you're talking about things that have history that just unimaginable for us, right? We're talking about numbers that are, you know, magnitudes older than writing, right? Than any written language. So in the history of, of gems, I mean, I'll often say, and I mean, I know it sounds a little bit hokey or whatever, but I really do believe that it is, you know, in our DNA, hardwired, written into us to love gems and to love jewelry because it's just so old, and, uh, you know, even people who, you know, often have people say, oh, I don't really like jewelry. And then, you, you know, you put a ring on somebody and they say, oh, you know, I, I do like jewelry. Right. And, you know, you show somebody a beautiful, you know, beautiful necklace or bracelet or earrings. And, oh, oh, maybe I do like jewelry. You know, it's like when people say, I don't like music. You're hardwired to like music. It's the same thing. You're hardwired to love jewelry. So, you know, it's in us. It's in our DNA. And, um just a gorgeous piece, going to set up extraordinarily well. Okay, so that last little bit of, you know, I was going on getting a little bit romantic or whatever about humans and jewelry, so I'm going to make this bit quick. I put the gem into a mock solitaire setting for you, and uh, this kind of gives you an idea of the size of the gem on my finger, 
right? This is my uh, pinky finger here. It's about size seven and a half. Uh, it also shows us, you know, starts to show us just how beautiful the gem is really going to be once it finally gets set up. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Now, uh, if you're in the Toronto area, you're going to be in the Toronto area, want to come by, take a look at this or any of the gems we have in person, I would love to have you into the office. Please reach out to me to book an appointment as we do not accept walk-in customers. Thank you all so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and don't forget to tell your friends about skychems.ca. Bye for now.